Hey guys, Irius here and welcome along to another video. I say another video, I haven't actually done too many of them recently, I've mainly been streaming, but we're back here for a video as I'm off on holiday shortly and I want to give you something to watch. So I want to ask you a question, have you ever been in the vicious circle of safety rating doom? And if you don't know what that is, I'll explain later, but I'm in it right now and I'm trying to get out of it. Probably not the best idea to do so in the race where I lost all my SR, but we're going to give it a go nonetheless. We're second place on the grid here. Full revs there burning fuel. We've got plenty to do before this standing start. Get that traction control on, then off, and then get the radar on in time for this, the source, to avoid contact. But that doesn't go to plan, and I end up in reverse in 18th. Within, what's that, 20 seconds of the start? Probably not the best for my safety rating there, but we're going to go up to 17th, so we've made a place up already, and we're going to make another place here as there's a massive crash at the top of the hill. Absolutely huge. So up to 16th, we're then going to get a good run on the Portuguese here, so up to 14th and then 13th as the Spaniard serves his penalty. It's going to be difficult because we have to pick our way through the carnage now carefully to not lose any more SR and as you're going to see here with the driving from the Frenchman that is going to be easier said than done. He's going to get out onto the left hand side there and then we've got nowhere to go and we hit him giving him a two second penalty but then I have contact with him there as he breaks to stop himself from going wide and I myself get a two second penalty and of course that all important SR down. In the background we did make up a place so we're in 12th now but that wasn't really what I wanted to have happen at the start of this one. We've got a long way to go as I say so we're going to be coming in at the end of lap number 6 if we make it that far that is if we haven't been punted into oblivion by that point and it isn't a knock on these drivers here it's just objectively their safety rating is lower. It was there in the start of the lobby and as you can see there I'm going to have to be very very careful just to stay away from everybody really. And even when you do get alongside someone as we do with the Spaniard here, check out the radar, he's just not going to be happy about it at all and just hit us twice. Brilliant. So thankfully we don't get any further SR downs there and we're going to keep our eye on the radar as we come down into the final corner because he's going to come back up the inside. He doesn't give us any room here on the second part, I've got nowhere to go so there's further contact and we're going to come across the line to start lap number two in seventh place. Well it will be seven as someone in the pits there is going to get off their hards early doors so they will be on the two stopper. You can just see them coming out of the pits there. So Talking about trying to avoid contact, look at the German here, we just about managed to avoid him as he slithers down the track and then puts on his handbrake for some reason and ends up in the grass. That was almost another Spa 98-esque incident there. And we're going to be on the heels of the Swede, but then we of course have to serve our penalty. So it slows us right down here and we're going to go back down to ninth place. I can deal with the time loss, that's fine. But the problem we're going to have is we're going to need to get past that Spaniard all over again. And it's not just about speed, it's about trying to pass him without any contact. Otherwise our SR reset is a real possibility. And when that happens, I should really call it a DR reset, but when your SR gets down to a certain point, your driver rating will just get reset down to I think 15 or 20k or something so that of course is not what we want to happen so we're going to try and chase this guy and see if we can pass him cleanly. Moving on to lap number three here we didn't manage to make a move throughout the last half of that lap so we're still looking to get past this guy ASAP because I'm conscious the leaders are flying up the road. Now in my rush I get a good run on him here down the straight towards Radion and I stupidly decide to go in side by side here. We get one bit of contact and then a second bit of contact and we get absolutely mullered. That's what happens guys when you leave it in. And as extra punishment, I get a one second penalty for the privilege. Uh, I suppose it's kind of right, I did ignore the track limits, but it wasn't really something that I planned to do. Um, 
it wasn't really my fault but we have to take it and we have to crack on anyway so we just have to pick a place really where we can get past him the swede there who we almost took over before is up ahead so we'll be both looking to try and get past him as well and another good opportunity is going to be here we're right behind him here we get a good run i pull to the inside but then he yep cuts me off and comes right across my face not ideal either we have to get out of the throttle and you can see how much time it lost us but we didn't have any contact thankfully until of course we arrived there into the s's he braked much earlier than i anticipated i hit him again and i get another sr down at this point i pretty much think that the sr and dr reset is on the cards so i just go for it here we get a better run here out of stavolo on the run down to blanchimon despite what he did last time we're going to go up the inside of him here thankfully though he doesn't give us any contact this time and we make the move stick and we're up to eighth place having a look behind there just to make sure that he's not going to go for a dive up the inside he doesn't i'm breaking at the end of the shadows there that you will see down to first for the final corner and we complete another eventful lap and we've made another place and we're into eighth now the next on our radar is the swede up in front as you can see here but we're going to lose a hell of a lot of time even if it's just a one second penalty you can just see how much you lose but looking on the positive we're still ahead of that spaniard who for some reason has dropped right off so we're going to concentrate here try and get our braking right and our apex is right and just try and catch up with the swede in front because again look at the delta there that little red box it's showing how much time we're losing to the leaders but we're going to stay on board here as we come through the middle section at spa through bruel or brussels i'm not quite sure how that's pronounced and then no name so it's very easy to get that one right because it doesn't have a name we're going to come down here into puon as well just a quick flick down to fourth gear in these cars make sure you don't end up on the right there because you'll easily slide off onto the astro and then you're into the gravel and then that tyre barrier comes up real quick. Through Lafange, still very, very close to the Swede up in front. Be careful again not to go to that Astro on the right hand side before flicking down to second, making sure that you keep it nice and tight before we get to Stavolo. Again, get the right hand side of the car by that green bollard and you'll be absolutely fine. Unfortunately for the Swede, he took it a little bit too tight and he ended up getting a bit of a slide on. He lost his momentum, allowing us up the inside, and we're now up to seventh place. We've got a couple more laps here as we come down towards the end of lap number four. We've got two more laps on these tyres once we've done with this one here, and we're in hot pursuit of the two drivers battling for fourth. The Portuguese and the pole as we come across to the line to do our best lap of the race. Not lightning for quick by any means, but we have had quite a lot to deal with. The battle that I thought was for fourth is actually turns into fifth. So not quite sure what happened there with the Delta, but either way, we are still in seventh. Not too bad considering we were 18th at the start of the race, about 20 seconds in after we came out of Lacoon for the first time. But we're gonna get our head down here and see what we can do about the two up in front. We're in clean air, so we should be quite quick at the moment with nobody holding us up. As you can see there, we're putting in a purple sector, so it shows what we can do when we do have clean air. And up in front, the yellows are out. The fellow Portuguese driver is way off into the gravel. I'm not even sure how he got out there, but our attention is on the Portuguese driver in front as we go up to sixth place then we're going to really try and make a move. Keep an eye on him here as he's squirming through no name. He's clearly having big issues with his tyres. So we're going to look up to the inside, but it's not on. So we left it out, flick down to fourth as we normally do, and then we get a nice run on him, but he's going to come right across our face. It's going to happen for the second time in one race, but we're going to quickly forget about that as we go around the outside into Lafange. So up to fifth now again not too bad still progressing from that 18th place that we once held at the very start of this one we're again in a bit of clean air and we're going to try and catch the pole up in front 
and get a couple of corners in, a couple of clean ones, which should hopefully be enough to save a driver rating reset. Fast forwarding slightly towards the end of the lap here, the car in front is going to come into the pits, so it's going to promote us now up to fourth place. Now, just to touch on the strategy, we're doing the exact reverse of what we've been doing in the streams, because in the streams we've been starting near the back, so we've been going on the hards first, doing those for three laps, and then coming in and finishing the race on mediums. But because we were near the front, at least when we started, we went mediums first, and we were going to go on them till the end of lap six, and then come in and do three laps on the hards. Now, it hasn't quite panned out, as you can probably see and could have probably tell if you've watched to this point, but we are where we are. The front three are quite a fair way up the road now, so I'm not sure on what strategy they are, it, because we've been too far away from them, to be quite honest. All I can do really here is keep my head down, keep clean, and just see what happens. And by taking that stance, we're actually going to get rewarded. As you can see here, the yellows are going to come out. The pole has had an issue somewhere, and we find him just respawning. I suppose it's a bit of a COD reference there. Just ghosting, as I should say, as he comes back onto the track. It's a shame, really, because we were on a purple, as you can see there. Quickest we've been so far, or quickest that anyone have been so far in this race. And we're going to go around the outside and up into the podium positions. So it will all be for nothing at this point because we're going to come in obviously at the end of this lap as we've just mentioned. So looking for the end of the shadow here, slamming on the anchors, coming through the first part and then we're going to stay right here, go round the bollard, try and avoid that tyre barrier on the left and the wall on the right is quite tricky really as we come into the pits. We've selected hards, there's no need for any fuel or anything like that, we've got more than enough. All that we can really do now is wait and see where we come out. So as we come out here, trying to stay within the white lines, we're going to emerge in fourth place, just being overtaken by the Czech driver there. We obviously remain ahead of the pole, who we overtook through Stavolo on the last lap. And the unfortunate thing is we're not going to be ahead of that pole for too much longer. He's just going to have a massive run on us all the way up the hill. As we look back here, you can see I do go to the inside to try and defend, but the speed difference was just too much. He's going to go down the outside, keep your eye on the radar there, and I actually brake a little bit harder than I should just to make sure there's no contact. Just because it's a little bit later in the race doesn't mean we can forget about not having any contact. Our SR is very much hanging by a thread, as I've mentioned earlier, and subsequently, if that goes wrong, we could get a DR reset, so we've got to be very careful there. The pole, as you can see, is pushing as he pretty much has been this whole race. He's going to go wide, coming out of no name and down towards Puon. He's going to get himself a penalty, as you can see here, and then he's going to run wide onto the Astro, and off he goes, losing himself, look at that, quite a lot of time. And of course, the fourth place that we now possess. So our attention is going to turn now to third, and we just got a glimpse there of second. Now I'm trying not to let it run away with me at this point. All I can do really, now that we've got a bit of clear track, is string a lap or two together. We've got two and a half left, left to go in this one, and we got purples last time we had some clear track out in front of us. So that's all I want to do here, is hit my apexes, get my braking points right, be careful on the throttle, and let's see what we can do. And as I say that, with a little bit of a break in the action here, I'm going to explain the term that I said earlier. So the vicious circle of safety rating doom. As I say, I am in it right now, and I'm sure most of us have probably been in it as well. But if you haven't, I'll explain. If you have a bad race and your safety rating goes down, you get put into a lower lobby, where you're more likely to get punted, have contact, and generally get engaged in activities that will further lower your SR. Your SR goes down further, you get put in a worse lobby, etc, etc, etc. And that process is rinsed and repeated until you get a driver rating reset, which is potentially what we're looking at right here. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you've had that happen to you. I'm quite sure that I'm not the only one here. Well, I'm saying I'm not the only one. It's not confirmed yet, 
so we want to just make sure that we can get through this. We've obviously got quite a bit of clear air here, we're stringing together multiple corners which is good which should mean our SR is going up but you never know if the damage done earlier on will be enough to save me. So here we are then on the final lap and we managed to bag ourselves the fastest lap of the race which is exactly what we wanted to do so there really wasn't much else that we could do with that clean air and as a result we're still in fourth but we're right behind the Czech driver. We're just about in his slipstream which is exactly where we want to be as we come through Radion and Eau Rouge here come up over the crest and just look at the speed difference here. We're closing on him, closing on him, closing on him. There isn't going to be too much that he can do here. Just the speed difference is too much. He doesn't even bother fighting it. And up the inside we go. He tries to fight it around the outside there. There isn't contact. There almost is. But then we manage to take the position. So from 18th, as I've said a couple of times in this video now, we are now up to third. And our attention is now going to be to whether we've got that SR reset well dr reset through having a poor sr because getting a good result will obviously make our dr go up but if it gets reset it'll all be for nothing so we're going to stay on board here as we come through puon for the final time staying away from that astro coming down the hill here looking for our baking point once more which is the start of that rumble strip coming through the s's the second place driver is up ahead the spaniard there but, you know, we're just not going to be close enough to him, I don't think. But, you never know in these lower lobbies. I have seen it quite a few times before, where people have done things like not changed their tyres, or generally broken a rule and then got some sort of penalty. So we're going to keep pushing, because if he doesn't do his tyres or something like that, he might get a 10 or 20 second penalty. I'm not sure what it is these days. But, we're just going to push, push, push to see if we can get his second place off him and also he might even make a mistake but it doesn't look like he's going to make a mistake as we cross the line here to take third let's just have a look and no way so he has got a one minute penalty one minute penalty so we are up to second and he's in fourth at the moment but is more than likely going to go down even further there you go fifth and he's just going to keep plummeting as those people finish. So as our second place, our newly acquired second place is confirmed, let's see where the driver who was in second but got the one minute penalty ended up. He ended up in 10th place after all that. What an absolute disaster. Kids, remember to read the rules. But all in all, we ended up surviving there. You can see that our driver rating has not gone down to E unlike some of the people in this lobby, and we live to fight another day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am going to finish it there. I hope you enjoyed the more relaxed style. I did just pretty much not script any of this because I was crippling myself with structure before, and I'm hoping that this could be the start of something much more relaxed and something much more enjoyable. So please let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. But as I say, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.